everybody. I'm so glad that you're joining us as we continue to take a closer look at our life app of faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Maybe it seems strange to trust in something that you can't see, but actually we do it all the time. Let me show you. Everybody go ahead and stand up. Yes, right where you are, stand up. Okay, so now on the count of three, everybody jump. One, two, three, jump. Okay, now have a seat. Now let me ask you something. When you jumped just now, did anyone keep going and float through space without coming back to the ground? No, of course not. We can trust that gravity will keep us on the ground. We can't see gravity, but we sure would notice if people started randomly floating into the air. Having faith in God is kind of like that too. Maybe we can't see God with our eyes, but when we focus on the things that he's done in our lives and in the lives of other people, that can help us put our trust in him. Have you ever met someone and thought you knew what they were like, but then you discovered that there was so much more to them than you ever realized? I know I have. People are always surprising me. So let's watch the so-and-so show and see what this story is all about this week. Coconuts, am I right? I'm Brandon. Uh, And I'm John, and welcome to the so-and-so show. Popsicles, am I right? Brandon. Brandon, what are you doing? Where did, where did you get that popsicle? Oh, Longbeard Carl left it in the studio a couple weeks ago. doing now just enjoying the summertime my friend yeah but you don't need sunscreen inside i know but don't you just love the smell of it it's like the smell of summer uh see Ugh. Ugh. does it's, that smell like summer no it smells like my aunt agatha's beach house oh what's the difference hey what's, what's the, the difference? difference what's the difference so, in this game, we're going to see two photographs that look the same, but really aren't. Yep, and whoever finds what's different first wins. Oh, 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 oh I'm so going to win. I wouldn't be too sure. Uh-huh. Let's go. All right. Ah, uh, summer. That's what my arm smells like. Mm-hmm. We look like we're having a good time, John. Yeah, but these photos look exactly the same. I can't see anything that looks... Uh, uh, no. Wait. Uh, Got it. On the left picture, there's a sun in the sky, and there are people playing in the water. And on the right picture, it has no sun, and there are no people in the water. Oh! Wow, good observation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next photo. Cool, now we're at the pool. I could sure use a dip right now. What about you, John? No time. Focused on the game. Sure. But don't forget to have fun. It's only a game. Oh, in the first photo, my face is sometimes sad, sometimes angry. In the second photo, my expression is more perplexed and pensive. Oh! Wow. That's a very subtle difference. Yeah, there's nothing subtle about it. Next. Uh, looks like a good day for a picnic. Concentrating. 13, 14, 15. What are you counting? The blades of grass in each picture. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's going to take you all day. Can't we just look for something? Got it! In the right photo... I am smiling slightly wider than in the left photo. What? No, no, zoom in to a close-up, see? In this one, I'm like, and in this one, I'm like, they're different. Or, there are clouds in the photo on the left, but no clouds on the right. Ha! Oh, man. And the winner is John. <laughs> yes! Best two Why? Well, that's best two out of three, buddy. So why'd we even do the third photo? You'd already won. I know. I just, I love winning. <laughs> it's Bible Story Time with Kellen! Bible 
Bible stories are so fun. I get to tell them to everyone. Hey, 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 guys. Um, what's up? Hey, Kellen. Yeah, sounded good, Kellen. Thanks. Hey, what's the story about? Today's story is about the time when Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, met Cornelius, a commander in the Roman army. And here to help me tell the story are the so-and-so show players. I am so and so excited. Can we play the game again? This story happened sometime after Jesus had died and come back to life, which, by the way, is still an amazing thing to think about. It was so amazing that many people believed in Jesus just because of what they heard about him. But here's something you may not have known. Many Jesus followers at the time thought you had to be Jewish before you could follow Jesus. In fact, there were laws that said Jewish people and non-Jewish people, or Gentiles, couldn't even hang out together. So our story begins in the home of a Gentile, the Roman commander Cornelius, about three o'clock in the afternoon. I wonder what time it is. I'm guessing three o'clock in the afternoon, huh? Hey! That's right. Cornelius. Whoa! What is it, Lord? Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like offerings to God. And he has remembered you. <sighs> Send men to Joppa and have them bring back a man called Peter. Okay. <laughs> so Cornelius sent three men to Joppa to find Peter. Around noon the next day, Peter was on the roof praying when he got really, really hungry. Lord, you are faithful. I pray that you... Whoa, I'm hungry. I wonder if lunch is ready yet. Whoa, I'm hungrier than I thought I was. Peter had a vision. He saw something like a sheet being let down from heaven. Uh, where are we? I think we're on this guy's roof. Hey, who is that guy? In his vision, Peter saw animals of all kinds in the sheet. They probably weren't talking animals, but they were the kind of animals that would have been against the law for Peter to eat. As Peter watched, he heard a voice. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. What did that voice say? Kill and eat. Wait, us? No. Lord, I won't do it. I I've never eaten anything that isn't pure and clean. Do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. Whose side are you on here, vision voice? The vision was repeated three times. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm dizzy and confused. Are you going to eat us or not? Then the sheet was immediately taken back up to heaven. Hang on! No! What could this vision mean? At that very moment, the three men Cornelius sent to find Peter arrived. And the next day, Peter went with them to Cornelius' house. You're here! Oh, stand up. I, look, I'm a human being, just like oh. everybody else. I've brought all of my family and all of my friends to hear what you have to say. Go on, say hello, everybody. Hello, hello Peter! Uh, hello, everyone. It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, you know it's against our law for me, a Jew, to enter the home of a Gentile or to even be close to one. But God has showed me that I shouldn't say that anyone is unclean. And that, that's why I'm here. I, I realize now that God treats everyone the same. He accepts people from every nation who have respect for him and do what's right. Peter told them all about Jesus, and he told them how anyone who believes in Jesus, Jew or Gentile, will be saved. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on everyone in the house who heard the message. Yeah. Hallelujah! This is the best day of my life. I forgot to change my costume. Oh, man. Well, surely no one can keep these people from being baptized. This is the best day of my life. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Hallelujah! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
did it. Thank you. Thank you. Not sure baptism worked like that back then, but everyone who believed in Jesus was baptized that day. After staying with Cornelius for a few days, Peter left to spread the word that faith in Jesus wasn't just for people like him, but for everyone. The end. That's a great story, Kellen. Yeah, and well done, so-and-so show players. That was so cool, but, but I'm wondering, uh, would we have ever heard about Jesus if Peter hadn't had that weird vision? That's a really good question. Before that vision, Peter thought Jesus was only for people who were the same as him. Yeah, but now we know Jesus came for everyone, even different people like us. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we are way different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter where you were born or the color of your skin or how different you are. We can put our faith in the same Savior. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. Thank you, Kellen. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, bye, Kellen. Man, I really love that. No kidding. The so-and-so show players are the best. Mm-hmm. Reveal the question. Oh, hey, what are some ways people are different from each other? Yeah, it could be the way people look. Oh, like hair color or nostril shape. Mine are crooked. Oh, how about that? Yeah, or it could be other things, too, like uh, what subject in school people are good at or... How many brothers and sisters people have? Yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Yeah, so you guys talk it out. What are some ways people are different from each other? And we will see you next time. Yes, I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. (laughs) Are we different from each other? Yeah, we're very different. You think so? How? I love Jesus. He's so cool. The Bible. It's so cool. I get to tell it after school. Psych at church. It's so cool. Can I finish a minute? Let me dance. What a great story. What a great reminder that God thinks everyone is super valuable and important. God told Peter that he should give others a chance. He wanted Peter to reach out to Cornelius and his family even though they didn't come from the same background. But because Peter did, Cornelius and his whole household put their faith in Jesus. If you think about it, the reason that we know about Jesus today is because someone else told us. God wants all people to know him. His rescue plan is for all of us. Way back at the beginning of the story, God promised Abraham that he would bless the entire world through Abraham's family. Fast forward all the way to today's story and we see how God showed Peter that his story is for the world, just like he had promised Abraham. Remember, knowing Jesus changes the way that you see others. Here's the thing, God wants us to love all people, even if they're different from us. Some people might talk differently than you do. They might like different things than you do. They might even look different from you. None of that means that you can't like them. When we know Jesus, that means that we should show love to everyone around us, not just the people who are most like us. Our faith in Jesus helps us to focus on others. It helps us to share God's love with everyone we meet. And I'm saying that word a lot today, everyone, all people, because it's not just you and me. It's not just your neighbor. When God talks about your neighbor in the Bible, it means everyone, all people. I hope that you'll join us on Zoom tonight at 5 p.m. so we can talk some more about how Jesus changes the way that we see others. Hope you guys have a great week. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today, Lord. Thank you for the ability to still meet together um, on Zoom and through YouTube when we can't be together in person. God, thank you for... Um, every blessing that you've given us and the word that we can learn and grow closer to you. God, we want to pray and we want to lift up this coronavirus pandemic, Lord, all of the people who are sick. God, we want to pray for them for healing and for a cure. God, I want to also lift up each and every student to you as they're dealing with isolation and hard times and just everything that's going on in our world, that you will be with us and show us that you loved everyone and all people, and we should do the same. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Bye, guys. Have a good week.